Welcome to Rulers and Stencils. For this project, you will be making a drawing or a painting using straight lines with a ruler or some type of curve. Um, and that's going to be the basis for the work. It can be figurative, like you see here, but it can also be a landscape. It could be an object. It could be abstract. So the concept is fully up to you. This drawing I'm making is pencil crayon on paper, and I've got a reference photo. And you can see I'm taking the lines straight from the reference photo and carrying them over to the page. So I am, uh, it's like a safety net. I'm finding the angle and I move it over and I translate it right onto the page. And so it's just a series of this, building up the drawing, building up the painting with these lines uh, one at a time. And you can see the person isn't very straight. They're bent over, their cloth is, uh, the, their clothes are wrinkled you know, but you can find the lines. And so this is an exercise in creativity, seeing those things and translating them into a somewhat abstracted form. Now, as you get a little more experience, you may just use the ruler on the page and not transfer every single line. I suggest um, doing that with all the big major lines to get it down. Um, but I'm gonna speed this video up and you can see how it all comes together just in a few minutes. Um, but doing the same process, finding the lines, putting them down. And if you'll notice, I'm actually using an orange pencil crayon. So I'm using a lighter pencil crayon because you can draw your picture just like this and have an, uh, basically an outline of, of the figure, but you can also bring in some form, which I'll show you in the second half of this video. So as we go along, I'm just going from place to place. You can see I'm not working on one specific area for that long. And that's a bit of a strategy um, that I use because it's easier to get a good overall shape of the drawing when you are focusing um, all over the place instead of just one little area because you might focus on one arm, say, and that arm will be uh, looking good by itself, but then it will be out of proportion just because um, you're not thinking about the total picture. So there's the outline finished. This is what it could look like. You could hand this in, no problem. Um, but you can also add some form. So here I'm going to use some darker pencil crayon to look at the light and the shadows. So first I was focused on lines and outline, and now I'm going to work into it looking at the photo once again, but now paying attention to where the shadows are, where the lightest spots are, and also directions. You can see I'm using hatching. So it's a lot of straight lines. Sometimes it's cross hatching. And once again, I'm not focusing in one specific area for too long. I'm going moving around, looking at the photo, looking back at my drawing, and using those directional lines to fit in with the way the fabric is as well. So I'm building up the surface. I keep roving around. I'm noticing different places. And uh, that's, again, that's my strategy. You may want to focus on one area and build out. It just depends on how your brain works and what you're noticing, what you're seeing, and what you feel like you need to put down. But as it builds up, you're doing more, more details. We're seeing a mustache and eyes. Um, I noticed I put the gun a little high, and so I'm coloring it uh, more solidly down low so it looks like it's slung and sitting right on his back. And this is how we do it. So good luck with your painting or drawing.